Bu ende eruption in the Sununka crater chain of the Reckoners uh, Peninsula started. We had two fissures opening up in different directions. First fissure was to the north, and the next one was to the south. The north one disappeared after a while; it stopped uh, erupting. But the south one uh, had eruption continued the south fissure, and we were able to count around nine uh, vents that were actually spewing lava into the air. And uh, I decided to name them. And the names I've given actually are uh, quite uh, uh, accepted by our viewers. So it's good for referencing anyway, even if it is temporary. The vent which I named Cupcake first uh, devoured the uh, next one, which was called Punctured in Icelandic. And then the cave disappeared and devoured by the Biggie crater. This ended up with the K1 being the largest one, growing to a huge size for such a, a small event. 50 meters is my latest estimate. And uh, as we now are able to look at it, only two vents are active. That is the Biggie and the K1, which is now here to the right. And here is to the left, as you can see here. So I've marked all of those ones which have disappeared. The Skurti, Cave, Maya, Madia, Perfect, Cupcake, Gatha, Elskan, all disappeared, all of them. What we have now is the major one, is now the K1. The K1 has a lot of collapses. It has even created a flow toward the north. I will have a separate video about that. It will not end up something big like a Fregadestrial, most likely. It will be more like a, a little quarter. Even it may have some collapses uh, like this one that we saw, very dramatic, because the uh, uh, crater walls are built in a short period of time. They're not that strong yet. Unlike the Fregadestrial, which was built over the six months, and it has a strength itself over that period of time, despite many collapses before that.